Uh, hey guys here, uh, got my uh, 200A Fluid Master, uh, it's actually the vintage 200A Fluid Master fill valve out, one of them that's in the box. Uh, had a, someone comment and wanted to know how to replace the diaphragm in these, I'm going to quickly show you. I had this laying on my bench just by chance, I was working on my daughter's bike and tires holding there. Yep, I had to put an inner tube in her tire, but I was getting ready to take it down and I saw my Fluid Master laying here on the bench. I'm like, oh, good time to make a fast video so I can explain to you guys that don't know how to replace this little diaphragm. Now I've already got it locked apart because you know I'm doing these videos one-handed. But on these on the old style Fluid Master 200 A's, where the valve is actually down here in the bottom, all you got to do is you hold this, you grab this with your hand, this part here, and you just push down and you twist it and it unlocks. See that? And then the little diaphragm is right there. You can see that right there, guys. That's it. Let me turn this light on. I swear, this light was supposed to be set to automatic, but it never does. <clears throat> Need a new phone. So there's your diaphragm. It pops out, and then you just pop a new one right in there. It's just sitting in there. Okay, so then to put it back together the same way, you can see on this uh, mechanism, it's got little notches. Same with this. You just line up your notches, and of course I'm one-handed, so I'll never get it. But uh, yeah, you just line up those <laughs> notches there. Yeah. And just uh, then you just push down again and twist it back the other direction. So, you know, righty tighty, lefty loosey, same principles apply here. So, that's it. That diaphragm, I've looked in some hardware stores. Home Depot here in our area has it. Uh, they're still, they're, they're about three to five dollars. And uh, they also fit the newer style Fluid Masters. So, I mean, you know, so it, it's the same diaphragm as the newer Fluid Masters use. So, that's it, guys. So, that's it. <clears throat> and that's on the. Uh, Floodmaster 200A. This is the vintage one. So yeah, still in the box. So I probably, if I'd ever used this one, I'd probably need to replace that diaphragm because it's old and it's probably getting decayed or dry rotted and it may leak. So, but it may not. So anyway, there you have it, guys. All right, thanks for watching.